we have a emission check system on and it's a P0430 I don't have a code reader here but I, I saw it before I had this uh, I had this error before and uh, I used the uh, Kata clean uh, to clean converted something like from CRC. Uh, it helped a little bit, but overall, um, I would say it only comes up maybe 10 10 percent of time driving. 90 percent, it's fine. And uh, sometimes closing the gas cap helps. Um, but these 10 percent, they uh, at this moment I just want to try something and just eliminate this 10% and maybe temporary fix uh, so I'm gonna put like extension to the current sensor oxygen sensor so this way I guess it won't read um, the data how it's supposed to but it should help and um, uh, before that I'm gonna test the sensor to just kind of curious if it's working or not perhaps if it's wor not working then maybe just put a new sensor but if, if they seem to be working within the range I, I believe then that's a catalytic converter issue and that, uh, from my understanding, could be uh, around thousand dollars for a good converter catalytic that will last you know, as much as this one, I guess, which is already two hundred sixteen thousand miles. And um, I don't know. I don't feel very bad if I'm gonna do this extension because from uh, what I'm what I read, even if catalytic converter works 95 percent of time well it still might trigger this code so 95 percent uh, it seems like the threshold is so small that uh, I might be right on the threshold of this catalytic converter still it uh, I guess filters 95 percent of the bad uh, I guess particles from air so it's I think it's still good I mean so um, I'm gonna take out the sensors now I have put jack stands under the car uh, three on each side plus the uh, the jack itself and then I'll try to move the car to the side. Ah, it seems sturdy. Oh, just making sure everything is okay. Free on each side. Oh, I'm gonna use some penetrating oil. So it seems one oxygen sensor is located here and one is down there. I always use goggles when I work on the car so I'm gonna put them on and spray with the penetrating oil and, uh, and then come back a little later and I think I will need that special tool to remove the sensors but now that I look at it, it seems like these sensors were here for a very long time, so maybe just the sensor issue.
Uh, I actually bought this somewhere and uh, this part I, I found out I can reuse and this part is from uh, WD-40 spray uh, very handy so I'm just gonna reuse it and all over there other sprays like this they all seem to be fit fitting I uh, borrowed the tool from Advanced Auto uh, it's the long program I never used it before but uh, it seemed like a good idea so I uh, deposit some money and then they told me after I bring it back I'll get it back and uh, so I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try all these three uh, different types of the set and see which one will work better Okay, this one seems to be working, but I think it's short. I'm gonna try this one. Okay, that seems to be better now. Uh, so it, it looks like it, it worked. Uh, so I use this one and I use one half. And at the end it was kind of had this elbow, I guess. And so it was like that. It was a little bit tricky. I had to, it was not easy, but uh, it's, I got the sensor out and originally I wanted to remove it and test it uh, just with the multimeter and uh, but now I realize this just I have to remove a uh, few more of the things and it seems like it might be hard to put it back and I'm just gonna put the the extension right now that's all I got this two spark plug non foulers and the part number is 42009 and uh, from my understanding I have to stack them on top of each other and then at this side I will have the oxygen sensor and uh, so one of them I have to drill well I want to stack them from my understanding is two are better than one but it's possible I just have to put one if it if it doesn't fit but the goal is two so I'm gonna drill both of these and uh, so I'm gonna use 516 drill bit just to start um, and then one and a half at the end and see what happens so I set them up now and I put them uh, this side because I was worried to strip this, uh, the threads on this side if I were to drill them from that side but I don't know if that matters I have drill one and a half, 
So I decided what I was doing, I did 5 sixteenths, then 3 eight, and then one and a half from top. And I took a little bit time, I mean, not too much just, but I was going slowly. I'm gonna now gonna do the second one. Now I'm gonna try to connect this, put the washers on top and oh maybe I'll use a like a brush like a wire brush to clean inside a little bit or something like a, there's, there's some metal shaving still left so I'll clean that and put this together uh, I realize I need to tighten this a little bit down so I'm, I'm gonna put a little bit anti seize and then just tighten this uh, using a, a tool using a wrench I'm just gonna tighten this is a 7 8 I'm not gonna tighten too hard just that's it this material seems to be not very strong aluminum and gonna do the same with the other piece I have cleaned the sensor <coughs> with the cleaner a little bit <coughs> my idea is to install this piece first and then tighten this on top of this uh, so I'm gonna add a little bit <coughs> anti seize on both ends and uh, I'm using my hand now just to tighten with hand uh, it seems to be going well Yeah, it seems fine. And uh, now, actually, I can use the seven and a half uh, to tighten a little bit more. Okay, that side. This side might be better. And again, I don't think I want to tighten too much because this will, I don't, I'm really worried I will strip. That will be the issue. Yeah, that's it, just lightly. Okay, and I think I'm ready now to uh, put the sensor in the, in the extension. We add it. I just realized that since the wire is attached over there, if I twist it, uh, once I'm gonna connect it, uh, the wire is gonna be all twisted. So I'm thinking I'm gonna twist the wire the opposite direction that is gonna tighten. So I'm gonna turn it, I guess, this way. So when I tighten it will unwind. I don't know if that will work, but I'm gonna try it. So what date? So it seems like to me it's best way is actually to to do it uh, with the whole assembly on. I'm gonna put this back on and then twist it. So I'm gonna I'm going to remove this extension 
and then put it on oxygen sensor first. But I think that's a better way. I have decided to try to remove that connector because wire it's twisting too much and I'm not I don't want to leave it that way so I'm gonna remove that and then figure it out something I have removed the wire connector I think it will be easier now to install all of this back so I put this back and I went to my first idea where I had to put the extension first and then the oxygen sensor uh, so it worked it helped that I uh, removed the uh, connector and there's still a twist in the wire but it's more evenly distributed instead of all tight around this oxygen sensor side so I think I'm okay just gonna tighten now and remove the other sensor so I just put the back the clip I still need to secure it better but looks like uh, the twist just disappeared on the wire and looks now it looks fine Here's the second sensor right above the uh, the white pipe, I guess. I'm gonna try to remove it now. Uh, so I'm using this the long extension from the set, and it seems it might work. And I'm, this is a, a free eight drive. Oh wow! It came out very easily. Oh, that's nice. I, I think it came out. Yeah, it's out. So that I think it really helped to use some penetrating oil, I believe. So I have removed the sensor, and what helped me was using this socket, this type with the. I think it's a three-fourth wrench, so just kind of like that. Uh, I'm also having problem with that connector over there. I'm not sure how they work, how to remove it. I wish somebody could help me with this. But I'm just gonna, I think, twist them off. I think I, at this moment, just kind of go with that maybe. I have tightened the, the extension and I use a 22 socket and just uh, went this way and now I'm gonna connect the oxygen sensor uh, it's getting dark here, but it's hard for me to hold both camera and uh, light. But I figured out using actually my right hand from this side is easy to twist. So I would try to do it different way. So this one is easier. Looks like I have uh, almost done securing back the sensor and I had a chance to remove that uh, connector 
this way I can twist more and there's no uh, the wire will not be twisted so I'm gonna keep going with this it's hard for me to hold both camera and light so I apologize but I think I'm in the right place for now uh, so at the end I'm just final few twists but I couldn't do it with my hands so I had to use that uh, tool special tool same I used to remove the first sensor the uh, front sensor that's a uh, one half uh, drive Uh, so as time I said I, I used the three fourth I mean sorry one half but I couldn't reach with one of these tools that's all I have so I had to go back to the three eight drive and that seemed to to made it work uh, I'm I'm doing this first time so I'm learning now uh, that but it seems it's, I think this could work for different, depending on the tools. It doesn't have to be one specific tool. I have put back the wire, and the sensor, and I learned that it is important for me that I remove that clip that held the wire, the blue sensor wire, both sensor. Uh, because it would have been really hard. It would have been very twisted the wire and that was I'm glad I removed it. I think that would be it I'm ready to see what will happen now uh, 